Okay, guys, I've got here something that was not meant to be repaired. This is a little Superman Returns toy from Burger King when the Superman Returns movie was released in, I believe it was 2006, I'm going to say. Um, the reason why I say they're not meant to be taken apart and repaired is because they aren't. Uh, it does have four of these. Let me see if I can pick this up. Four of these little triangular head screws. And I happen to have a triangular head screw right there in my iFixit toolkit. So it wasn't hard to take apart, but the thing is all like his Superman's body. And you can see that right there the things heat welded together and there it's not glue they you know right up here around his neck and then i don't have the batteries out rain's at walmart right now and one of the things she's going to do when she's there is pick up some batteries but the thing that what this does is when you turn the little switch on the cape to the on position what happens is it makes a little whoosh sound like Superman flying. That wasn't working, so or it was working, but it was really weak because the batteries are weak. So it takes three disc cells that go into let me pick this up. Dang it. Go into that compartment right there. And this circuit board, that's it. That's as that's as many electronics as are in here plus the speaker, which is right here. And even the circuit board was glued or heat welded into the, into place. So what I'm gonna do is when the batteries come, if, we, if they do, I'm gonna put it back together and we'll see if it works. And uh, if it does, that's great. If not, you know, no big loss. We get the batteries out, use them over, and something else. So, just looking for the other screws because there's four of them. I think they fall down on the other side of the comic book or something. I'll find them. Um, so, that's it. So, the body of a Superman robot. We'll be back soon. So, it's a few days later and uh i'm at the kitchen table such as it such as it is and um i have the replacement batteries these batteries that came with it are i don't know if we'll be able to see this or not Hang on. Uh, focus focus you dummy well, they are L1131H, and the rough equivalent is an Energizer 389. So we couldn't find a three pack or a multiple pack or anything like that. So we picked them up at the supermarket. And in Idaho, at the local supermarket, they're a buck fifty eight each. So about four twenty, four thirty to fix it. So um I have the iFix a toolkit and I managed to find all the screws, which the screws hadn't gone anywhere. They were just on top of the comp book and I couldn't see them. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the batteries in and then I'm going to test it out for you. So, hold on and I'll be right back and we'll, we'll do this for everyone to see. So, I got the batteries in the right way and these things. Are kind of cool they just open like a pill box and the battery comes right out so it's very frustration free so let's try the sound i've already done it so that i make sure that it works for the video but all i'm going to do is touch the the two contacts together okay hold on so i don't know if you can hear that or not but the uh switch is turned on the contacts are touching and the Superman flying sound is making some noise. So uh, this is good. We'll be right back when I've assembled them. 
Okay, I got the body situated the way I need to and he's all snapped together and now I'm going to put him together with my iFixit toolkit with the triangular end. So I'll be right back when I've done that. So he's all fixed now and unbeknownst to me, when you turn him on and move him around, you can try to do it with one hand, which is kind of impossible. When you move him around, The sound changes, but gotta do it. There it went. So there's Superman all fixed. Yay! Go, Clark. Thanks for watching.